This video shows you how to check and adjust the spreader for your SawStop compact table saw. The following instructions apply to both the riving knife and the spreader. For this video, I'll use the spreader. For safe operation, it's important that the spreader is properly adjusted. You'll confirm that the spreader is properly mounted and tight within the clamp, parallel to the blade, centered on the body of the blade, and that the spreader has proper clearance with the blade. As always, take precautions before working on the saw. Turn off the power switch. Unplug the saw. For an extra measure of safety, lock out the power switch. Set the bevel to zero degrees. Fully raise the blade. Remove the top guard. Disable the anti-kickback paws. Remove the insert. Open the dust shroud door. You can use the blade wrench to open the latch. Remove the blade wrench from the top of the storage tray. Push open the latch and then open the door. First, confirm that the spreader is correctly mounted on the pins in the clamp. The upper mounting pins fit through the two holes in the spreader. Next, make sure the spreader is solid and locked in place. It should require some force to close the clamp lock handle. In this example, the spreader is loose and the clamping force needs to be increased. Open the lock handle, pull the spreader off the pins, and then remove. Simultaneously, push the handle and the clamp plate to the left and hold in place. Do not allow the handle to rotate down. Hold in the vertical position. In this example, I turn the adjusting bolt clockwise such that one flat on the head of the bolt moves to the next mating position in the lock handle. This may be all that's necessary to tighten the clamp. And, by the way, the bolt should turn by hand, but if not, you can use a 10 millimeter wrench. Release pressure and allow the spring to push the handle back over the head of the bolt. Place the spreader in the clamp and then close the lock handle. Confirm if the spreader is solid. The spreader is still loose, so I repeat the adjustment, turning the bolt one more flat. Take notice of the force required to close the clamp, and make sure the clamp handle is fully closed. It should rotate all the way to the stop on the clamp plate. If the clamp is too tight, the lock handle requires too much force, or the handle doesn't rotate all the way to the stop. Reverse the adjustment steps. Now that you've confirmed proper mounting for the spreader, you can check the alignment. Make sure the clamp is fully closed and tight on the spreader. If the straight edge isn't long enough to span the throat, close the dust shroud door and then install the insert. Place the straight edge against the side of the blade. Make sure the straight edge is against the body of the blade between the teeth. The straight edge should be flush against the full width of the blade and parallel with the spreader. In this example, the spreader is shifted slightly to the right and angled away. Alignment for the spreader, including tilt, is controlled by the three mounting pins. Remove the provided 4 mm hex key wrench from the storage tray. Turn the front pin a small amount to bring the front edge of the spreader into alignment with the blade. Next, I turn the rear pin 
to move the back edge of the spreader to the left. The lower portion of the spreader is now aligned with the blade. Check the upper portion for tilt. Here the spreader is tilted to the right. In this case, I turn the lower mounting pin counterclockwise to tilt the top of the spreader back to the left. If tilted to the left, of course, turn the pin clockwise. You also need to make sure the spreader is centered on the body of the blade within the kerf. First, here's a quick look at the relationship between the spreader and the kerf. The kerf is the width of the teeth, or the width of the slot cut by the teeth. The kerf is slightly wider than the thickness of the spreader, and the spreader is slightly thicker than the body of the blade. Without the spreader, the workpiece could pinch the blade as the wood's natural tension is released, possibly resulting in kickback. Before proceeding, make sure that you align the blade and spreader first, as shown in the previous section. Here the spreader is parallel with the blade, but shifted to the left and slightly outside the kerf. Turn each of the mounting pins an equal amount to shift the spreader. In this example, I turn the pins clockwise to push the spreader to the right, again turning each of the pins equally until the spreader is centered in the kerf. Place the straight edge against the side of the spreader. Check each side. There should be a gap between the straight edge and the spreader on each side, and a gap between the straight edge and the body of the blade on each side with the blade gap slightly larger than the spreader gap. Note that the riving knife and spreader are both 2.3 millimeters in width. This width is marked on both the riving knife and the spreader. The 2.3 millimeter spreader is compatible with blade curves as thin as 3 seconds of an inch that's 0 0.93 inches or 2.38 millimeters. Blades thinner than 3 seconds of an inch are not recommended for use with the saw stop safety system. Finally, confirm there is an 8 millimeter gap between the blade and the front perimeter of the spreader. The clearance is set from the factory and is not adjustable. If the gap is noticeably different than this, confirm that the blade is 10 inches in diameter or 254 millimeters. If the blade is 10 inches, contact the saw stop service department. Close the dust shroud door. Push it down until you hear or feel the latch lock. Install the insert. Lower the anti-kickback pawls to the working position. Install the top guard. Plug in the saw. Unlock the power switch. That's it. You have learned how to check and adjust mounting and alignment for the spreader or riving knife on your SawStop compact table saw. If you have questions, contact SawStop Service.